How y'all doing? I uh, hope y'all can hear me. Hopefully this is getting better. I don't know if it is, but I'll have to wait until till the end. Uh, till until I until the end until I publish it. <laughs> so um, today I somebody actually did um, respond yesterday. Thank you very much. Uh, and I it was daring and unafraid. And y'all can go check them out daringandunafraid.com. I think. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna use your real name. So Rich, I'm gonna respond to you. Uh, that question um, about how well it was more like what you're interested in and 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 that is basically the entire thing that i'm trying to do here is um how the words and the music and the chords and the notes all go together and uh believe it or not that all started um for me anyway back in little the little places uh, this was in the 70s around keensburg hazlitt um keyport um, and I don't know if it was like a VFW, like the Eagles, the Elks, uh, what, those places for some reason, every time we went, always seemed to have bands and they were always just, you know, like uh, guitar and drums and, and bass, maybe two guitars, bass and, and somebody singing, but it was always, you know, live music instead of a DJ or whatever, probably just because they didn't have the technology and they were, they were just working with what they had. But that's where I started going, oh, that's how they do it. Because it was instead of listening to it on the radio, it was, oh my God, there's the bass, there's the guitar, there's the singer. Then, you know, you start putting it all together. Um, it gets way down deeper into that when you start trying to write the music. And the best example I can have, and this is only one way of doing it, <coughs> but um, I, I, the best example I can give you is just because I know it so well is Ronnie Van Zant. Ronnie Van Zant wrote lyrics to music. Um, you can go out and see the stories by the individual people who were there at the time. One of them is Gary Washington. He tells a story about... Um, <laughs> You know, playing something like that and um, going into rehearsal and Ed King uh, who was just fired as their bass player and who had just picked up a brand new uh, Stratocaster um, came in to, to practice that day as Washington was just playing that. and um, the stories from both of them are the same except for the time that it took um, and then uh, Ed King came in with his new Strat and he picked it up and just started playing off that. That was the impetus for the song. They wrote the music part of it. Ronnie Van Zant, uh, and they both say this, was sitting on the couch and he just started going like this, keep going. And the, the, only, the only difference between their stories is the amount of time that it took for Van Zant to get up and start singing the first verse. I think one of them was 5 to 10 minutes, the other one was 10 to 15 minutes. <coughs> but he got up and sang the first verse to Sweet Home Alabama and it never changed. <coughs> Van Zant's whole thing was he never wanted to write anything down. Because if you need to write it down, it's not good enough. You know, if I have to write it down to remember it, it's not good enough. That was his thing. And this is just an, his, an example of how he did things. Um, the example that I want to give for um, putting it together, though, is just that, is what I... The song is Things Going On uh, by Skinner. And <clears throat> the first verse in that, you can just, it's an E, an A, and a B. And all the notes are picked straight out of those chords. And it's, have you, have you ever down in the ghetto? Have you ever felt the
You know, it goes on from there, but that's just... And Van Zant did it by listening to what those guys came up with musically. Um, other people don't. Uh, I used to live in a house with musicians, and I told one of them about... They were stuck on trying to get, you know, trying to write music, and... Uh, and I said something about, well, listen to the music. It'll tell you what the words are. And he kind of looked at me like I was crazy. But that was the reason I said it was because that's how Van Zandt did it. And that was how I was learning things at the time. Because I was just such a student of, of Skinner at the time. And... Um, and And for me, it, it, it was more of how the three guitars all fit together because that, to me, was always super fascinating because they're all playing the same thing in different places. They're, so one guy might be playing down here, and he up here, and one by down here, and then you you got to all come together so that it sounds right. One of the things that got me on that was something that when I was first learning songs, and a friend of mine was also learning songs, um, he it was a uh, um, searching, uh, and that part right there, he said that's not an E. And I said I think it is. It's just played somewhere else, and I'm pretty sure that 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 what you hear the after the mixing with that what is instead of and that that all along long i mean this has been going on for years for me that just fascinated me and it's like oh wow that's how you do it it's like so you know you have one person doing the, the bass stuff and then somebody playing it somewhere else what is it no, i don't even so I used to play it that way. Yeah, so it's just you can kind of. I'm sorry. So I used to play it the other. And then back, you know, strange to me. Which is exactly the same as the just a different tone. So that has always fascinated me. And also, like uh, Brian Wilson, oh my God, he hears this stuff in his head. You know, it just all meshes, and he can see this stuff and all the different instruments, and people can do that. And wow, that has always fascinated me. I mean, it's a great. You know, it's, that is what kind of all of this is about is exploring all these things and then yeah I mean the, the words and music together I was learning that Bob Dylan song and seriously if you look at it you, you can see the two different patterns that go perfectly together there's the chords and it's like mm -mm -mm, and you can separate it and it's like nice pattern it's like the words you superimpose it over it's like holy crap that fits perfect but that that's Dylan's thing, you know. He j him and and he just no he him and words that go together. That's why, you know, is he a musician or is he a poet? Um, but that has also fascinated me about musicians are poets, musicians are philosophers. It, it's all everything that goes together, and that's the pursuit of that is daunting to say the least but oh wow i think it's so worth it and i'm so grateful to to god for letting me pursue it because this is amazing and sorry for the rant but i mean that is a great go out and listen to it seriously um uh to things going on it's a and that that also amazes me it's a, to me musicians most of the time are prophets because a song like that you go out and listen to things going on everything there to that he wrote 40 something years ago man sorry didn't write put in his head for and somebody else wrote it down um it's still true it's just 
uncanny how these things work out. Uh, go back and listen to other things like um, uh, Ohio, um, Neil Young, uh, or is it uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash? You know, the, but all those, or for what it's worth, you know, same thing. All those songs, how do they do that? Um, I know you're trying to write in broad strokes, but it's like broad strokes for everyone but it's and it's an art but it's how does it stand up you're you are writing about a point in t a specific point in time and then we come back to it again and it is still true today fascinating the whole thing is fascinating i could talk for hours i should gotta i gotta stop now because you guys are probably like damn this dude is just spouting all off again this way way and that way and all the things that and the other thing and rich i'm sorry but yeah man oh my god that is a great that, that, that is, I don't know if it's a question or a way to go with the channel or um, just a, a topic of discussion that you could seriously sit down and have podcasts for years and years and years with people. I mean, and then you go out and look at guitar players. I was thinking of John Five. That dude, he's, he, he it's almost like he, his side gig is playing in the bands he plays in because his talent is... He plays everything, and he plays it amazing. There's a video out there where somebody wanted to, to showcase guitars, and they said, we wanted somebody who could play, so we got John Five, and they basically started pulling out these vintage guitars for him to play, and, and it, it was more getting him to the part of playing was kind of a chore to, just because it, every time he looked at it he had a guitar he was like oh, you have a, oh my and, he was, and then they had a talk about it and, and he was like oh my god and these things have in them and, and it's like he's just such a all of it going together and to me the hardware and the and it's just everything going together oh it's so fascinating and thank you rich because wow you know you want to talk about something that uh I talked to a psychiatrist who said I am just so not focused but to me that is what I'm trying to do is with all of this is take everything from everywhere and put it what is what is because everything does go together here and it all is so fascinating and that's the pursuit of it you know and and how you do it you have to do it personally you have to do it yourself it has to be individual and that is why you call them artists because it is just so individual to each person and and i would have loved to have been born with van zant's you know abilities to do that but i guess i gotta find a different way you know and it's that that pursuit of trying to find it that is that is how words music chords how it all goes together that's the pursuit of it is is just the, the that's that's all of it it's everything you know and and thank you and please like, comment, and subscribe, especially if you made it this far. Holy crap, you made it this far. Thank you. So, man, uh, great question. I hope you all is having a great day. It is Sunday. He's there for you, man. Thank you for everything. Um, always look up. He's there for you. I'll see you then. Peace.